What is good, you little turds? It's your boy Traj, and over the last, you know, six months, maybe four months or so, making Rogue Company content, I've learned that you guys really only give a fuck about two things: what's the name of the song in my intro, and what are my settings. So today we're gonna cover the latter of those two. We're gonna keep the song a mystery for now, but I'm gonna break down my settings. I've made a video on it in the past, but I still get asked it a lot, so I just kind of want to break down each setting and why I use them. So let's hop into it. Have they stories they be made? All right, guys, and would I be a real YouTuber if I didn't put lo-fi beats to study slash relax to in the background? So let's hop into it. I'm going to put everything on default and show you what I changed so it's easy for you guys to follow along. So on display, I'm going to just change brightness from 50 to 60. That's just a personal thing. 50 is totally fine, but definitely turn off motion blur. Everything else can stay the same. Um, for audio, I'm, I'm going to turn the voice chat down. Just I'm a sound whore. I want to be able to hear footsteps, especially in Rogue Company where it's so valuable. So I turn voice chat down a little bit. You'll still hear your teammates. They're just not going to be coming in loud as fuck talking about nonsense. Um, for controls, so a lot of this shit guys I keep the same so I'm gonna show you what I tweak I'm gonna go sensitivity. I put from 4 to 4.5 headshots are very important and This keeps my aim steady, you know, it allows me to hit every single shot I shoot which in return will win more fights um, Left stick dead zone. I'm keeping the same right stick. I'm just putting up to 0.25 and I've trialed and erred. I've, I've done a bunch of different right stick dead zones um, left stick you don't have to change, but right stick having it at 0.25 just allows my right thumb to be as steady as possible. I can focus headshots, and headshots are everything in this game. You know, most gunfights are going to be decided by whoever gets the most ding ding dings. So the rest I'm keeping completely default. You know, like I said, I'm changing sensitivity for horizontal and vertical to 4.5, and I'm changing my right stick dead zone, and that's it. I keep vibration on. Um, that's just me, you know, that's that's something that I like that I like to use I usually stick pretty close to the default settings I always spectate people and some people can handle the, the extreme sensitivity and the acceleration boost and all that shit But most of the players I fight against or spectate I think they would do much better if they would just kind of lower some sensitivity lower You know stop tweaking all the settings, you know, you just want to get your muscle memory down So just tweaking and shit all the time trying new things It's not what you want to do just get you know figure out what you like and stick to it all right, now I just want to talk about some bindings that I've heard some players use that have uh, that have had success with them. Um, so I know some people the the roll to reload's a pain in the ass, um, the dodge roll. So or the, you know for whether it's Lancer or any rogue, so you can actually change that to R1, which would you know, and then you can change toggle shoulder toggle shoulder to circle. So it's a little bit weird to get used to, but it's something that you could try using. It's a lot easier to dodge roll during fights, and as Lancer, it's actually really nice. Um, again, it just takes getting used to. Something else that you could try, I know melee is a pain in the absolute dick. You know, that melee button at right on the D-pad is horrible. So what you want to do, there's a few options. Um, you could try up on the D-pad, it's a little easier to get to, but I suggest using um, L3 is an option also, but I like to make um, switch weapon L3 and then make melee triangle. So melee triangle and then switch weapon L3. Um, it's the, the switch weapon you'll get used to, you know, you hardly swap weapons in this game, so it's easy to just click the stick when you need to. And triangle to melee, you'll find it's just much easier during fights to hit triangle than it is to hit right on the D-pad. And on my last settings video, I did not have quick pickup on, auto pickup, but that is something that you want to turn on ASAP. Every single time you run over a dead body, you pick up their grenades, their C4, so you'll find in fights, all of a sudden you have a claymore, you don't know where it came from, it can save your ass. But that's all my settings, guys. I'm going to run a few clips so to show you guys, you know, once you get used to these settings, exactly what you can do to other teams. But I hope you all have a wonderful Monday, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Peace.
They're gonna throw all the way. Alright, Tashi just rocked the whole team already. 